Hey my friend, it's Duke. In this video, I answered one of your questions that submitted on the channel. That is, I forgot code. How to get better? The problem is, he, the uh, person, the student who submitted this question is just get started to learn to code as many of you do. And he just learned from one tutorial or one course and he just forgot everything or he cannot apply to what he tried to create are you having the same problem now when i first got started i still remember so vividly that the only reason i got started to learn all of this right i learned to how to code how to build apps how to get clients and do freelancing works the only reason is because i wasn't taught the skills i needed to support my family, to get a job, to make a difference because at schools, at colleges, they don't teach us these skills to build these kind of things that nowadays the industry requires. So why did I do? I go online, I learn from courses and books and videos and all of the things that you are learning right now and that is the, the why you discovered me, right? And it's hard. You know, it's struggling. It's just keep struggling days and nights and I just so many hours and weeks and months putting into this. It's a struggle. I know that. I know it's hard for you and I know it's hard for all of us. So all I ask you to do and all I was able to do is I trust. I begin and I trust. I continue. I stay at it. And in the span of 18 months, I was able to not only quit my three jobs and on campus, work on my passion, support my family, and help you guys. So all the things that I'm going to uh, to to share with you in this video, please know that it comes from personal experience, and please know that it comes from the place of service and love to you. So here is the thing. Here is my answer to this question. That is, you are going to forget the code that you learn. You're going to forget everything that you learn. That is just nature, human nature. Because if you don't know by it, that is skills are developed via neural pathways, right? When inside your brain, there are neuro neurons and there are the pathways between those neurons. And the skill that you performed each and every single day is just the matter of those neurons communicate to each other via the pathway we call it the neural neuron pathway, right? And when, let's say, when you code an app, when you code the feature, the only reason why you remember the code, the only reason why you remember to do the thing is because those pathways get strengthened so much and it's just fire in a, like just fraction of seconds, in milliseconds, just like that. And the problem is when you just got first learned something, the pathway just get connected for the first time. It is so weak. The only reason you forgot is because the physical neural pathways are still so weak. So the solution is how can we strengthen those? How can we strengthen those? So that whenever you code an app, let's say you want to pop up a camera or you want to display a table view or you want to do something, you want to talk to a client and you want to convince him that you are capable of doing the work. The only way that you can do this is through three steps. And all the things that I share with you in this thing is I read from um, this, let's say the talent code or pick by Anders Ericsson or um, the later book of talent or great by Angela Duckworth. We check those out. It's really will really help you. Number one, you have to practice. You have to practice. And here's the thing. When you practice, you have to discover your weaknesses. You have to discover what you forgot and you practice at it. Do not ignore your weaknesses. Now today people are so, so kind of like focus on that, focus on your strength and they forgot their weaknesses and most of the time, 90 out of 100 is the weaknesses are the things that are going to shrink you down or the weaknesses are the things that are going to advance you. So you are the one who decides whether you are going to advance the, your life. You are going to advance your skills by strengthening your weaknesses and then repeat the process. That's it. So here is 
my one of my habits that I would love to share with you that I just practiced this from day one when I learned how to do this, right? Number one, read one book a week. If it is not a book for you, read an article, study a course, study an audio book, anything, but read something do something, learn something every single week because through that process of learning, you get like obsessed with that, right? Your life is just around with that and all day long, all week long, you think about it, the neural pathway will get strengthened, will get fires up and that's why you see so many people are so good at this stuff. It's the only reason is because they do so much of it. They go through months and years and years of doing this, so now it becomes second nature. It's because inside their brain, the physical part, the part of the brain, the neurons, get fired so many times that it's just become automatic. It goes so fast. If you want to dive deeper into the neuroscience of it, is that along those pathways, right, around, along those, surrounded by those pathways, is something we call myelin. And the myelin is just a fatty tissue that helps strengthen those pathways, help make those firing of the neurons faster. So the more you practice, the more uh, myelin, the more those fatty tissue get generated. That's why people get so good at that, right? That's why you see those developers, or the hacker, they get like immediately hack into something. Oh no, I doubt it, okay? But it gets hard. So practice that by reading one book a week or reading an article a week or study a course a week. And then here's the most important part. You have to create something new every single week. In the process of creation, you are going to discover yourself. In the process of creation, you are going to develop your skills. So create something new every week. It can be blog post, it can be a simple app, it can be one feature in your app, it can be just one class in the app. That's that, but create something every single week. So for those of you newbies out there, when you learn to code, say you just learned about coding in Squiff, right? So what you can create is do some code challenges in the course, do some code challenges in the book, or if you don't have those, go to my blog, there will be some code challenges there for you. So all you have to do is create something, do something actively every single week. And the fourth, third thing, very important, this thing is going to make your skills like wham. The only reason is get mentors, get mentors. Go and find those role models that who already succeed at what they did, that they want you to do, right? If you want to get a job at a certain company, find a mentor that already got the job. If you want to become a good developer, find someone who already built the app that you want to build and now learn from them or ask how can you become them. Find mentors. That's that, my friend. Number one, get read a book a week. Number two, create something new. And number three, get mentors. And I know that all of these things, especially the first one and the second one, it's hard. It requires a lot of time and a lot of commitment and a lot of discipline and willpower. And personally, I'm still struggling with this thing every single day, every single week. Trying to read a book a week, I push myself, push myself to read two books, three books a week and it's hard. My God, it's hard. I try to jam like a person six months of work into just one week and it's hard. But I like to say to my students, if it is not hard, it is not real transformation. If it is not hard, it is not real change and real contribution. So you are the one who decide whether this is important enough for you to do it. As Elon Musk say and Jim Rohn say, right? If you really want to do this, you are going to find a way. If you don't want to do it, you are going to find an excuse. So if it is important to you, if this is the thing you want to do, then do it, commit to it, go and do it. Read the book a week, create something new every single week, find mentors, you already have me here. So if you love more training, just subscribe to the channel so that I can continue to deliver free training videos for you and you can ask me any questions. So if you have any questions, 
post below this video, I will answer you to the next in the next uh, video. And also, I know if if you are new to iOS development, I have this free training for you that will help you to learn to code with Swift, help you to build the user interface for a simple app, and also to create iOS apps. I will share with you some of my personal stories, some of my struggles when I learn to this, and how I overcome that, so that maybe I can. I'll give you some inspiration and some guidelines in this journey. So all you have to do is click the button on this page that we have for you or the link in the description. There you let me know your name and email so that I can happily send that training for you all for free. All you have to do is click that button right now, go there and let me know who are you and how I can send that training to you. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, my friend learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.